Thank you very much. And ring the bell loud. Yes, we will. It's going to be uh, a good day. Yes, it will. Uh, next on the rundown, call it, down. call it the food stamp stimulus. Yep, the administration thinks welfare programs feed the economy. That debate is next. And big health news. Eric, well, the nation's rough economy has more and more Americans living off food stamps these days. And those food stamps are stimulating the economy. In a recent interview, Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack said of the SNAP program, quote, you have to recognize that it's also an economic stimulus. If people are able to buy a little more at the grocery store, someone has to stock it, package it, shelve it, process it, ship it. All of those are jobs. It's the most direct stimulus you can get in the economy during these tough times. So is that actually true? Are food stamps a stimulus? Joining me now, senior fellow for Project 21 and Fox News contributor, Deneen Borelli, and economist and radio talk show host, Mark Levine, for an interesting debate. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning, Gretchen. All right, uh, Mark, I'll give, you the first, I'll give you the first crack at this. Uh, really? Yes, actually, food stamps are some of the best economic multipliers. All you have to do is look at a paper by Mark Zandi, the chief economist for Moody's. He talks about the fact that if you spend a dollar in the grocery store, it actually turns out to be about $1.73 in economic stimulus because groceries need to hire more people, packers and shippers need to hire more people, and then they go out and they spend money on their kids you know, for Christmas, and it multiplies, it grows. One of the worst economic stimuluses, actually, was the Bush tax cut. He estimated less than 30 cents of that went to the economy because you give money right. to Warren Buffett and he keeps it. He doesn't spend it. Mark, Except to me, there's, there's, there's only... Yeah, there, there are more people in... Cal there are more people on food stamps than there are people in California. This program is ridiculous. Let me tell you something. For people in the Obama administration to be coming out saying that it's better for people to be on welfare, to be on food stamps, that's utter nonsense. And I find it to be very irresponsible. And let's look at the cost uh, aspect of this because you're looking at this from a spending aspect. What does it cost to have food stamps for these individuals? This is tax dollars coming from hard-working Americans. It's funded through a bureaucratic, inefficient government, and it doesn't grow the, the economy. So, so what you were saying is utter nonsense. So, Mark, let me ask you this. Does it trouble you that the other side of the equation has been growing and growing and growing? In other words, more and more people are on food stamps, and who's paying for that? Well, think of America without food stamps. One in seven Americans are on food stamps. 50% of them are children. Now, let's say we've got 45 million starving people in the United States, people who don't have food. Most of them are working, by the way. They're working, but they're working in very low-wage jobs, and they can't afford food. Now we have starving people in the streets. That causes health care to go up. It's not just a question of morals and ethics. You Mark, know, the Judeo government says don't let people starve. The government cannot handle this problem. We need more people working. The Obama policy policies on economics has failed. The stimulus did not work. Unemployment is through the roof. Unemployment in the black community is let over 16 percent. I don't get Among it. Among teens is over 40 percent. How do starving no, we people don't help want the people economy? to starve. That's ridiculous. But to, to say that it's better for more people to be on unemployment is a joke. And I find that very irresponsible. All right, the people I gotta already there, don't guys. have work. Let's let them meet. I, I got I to gotta leave it there, but a very interesting debate. Deneen, Mark, have a great day. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thank you. All right, here's a question.